Hello teachers, this is uh, the civics practice test for mathematics part 5. Uh, we're going to go over questions 38 to 42 today. And this is something that you can find online. It's the test that they provide and you have to take it, I believe, in two states and one of them is in California. So it says, which of the following mathematical, mathematical expression is equivalent to B times H over 2? This, if some of you might recognize as the base times height divided by 2, which is used for the area of a triangle. Uh, when we have a multiplication of two fractions, all you have to do is multiply straight. And so the for letter A, B times H is BH over 2 times 2 is 4. So that's going to be the answer and if you notice it's not the same so we can say that that's not a possibility or not equivalent. For the second one some people just because they see a term outside and then they see something going on inside they do distributive property but distributive property is only done with addition and subtraction inside of the parentheses. So this we wouldn't do. Um, we wouldn't do distributive property. Instead, we do PEMDAS order of operations. So whatever is inside of the parentheses, that's what you do first. In this case, B times H is BH. You put it between the parentheses and you just multiply it times two, and two times BH is two BH. Again, this does not look like what they gave us, so it's not equivalent. This is division, this is multiplication. So, no, it's not letter B. In addition, when we have the common denominator, meaning that both denominators are the same, we can represent it by writing it only one time. Ooh, that looks similar. However, just because we have a plus, when we, whenever we have a plus or a minus, we have to write both of the numerators with that symbol, mathematical symbol, okay? So no, it's not the same when you add B plus H over two, then B times H over two. So it's not letter C. For this one, whatever is in here, that's what you're going to do, which is B times H, that's inside of the parentheses. Remember that whatever is inside, you just, I mean outside, you just carry it over, okay? So inside is B times H is BH. Bring over the one half, which is equals to one half BH. The other way that you do it is that if you put it over one, and actually that makes more sense. You multiply straight, right? Whenever you have a fraction and a whole number, even if it's expression, put it over one, multiply straight, and let's put it over here. In fact, I shouldn't have done that part. One times BH is BH over two times one is two. If you notice, that's the same, that's equivalent, so it will be letter D. So in most books, actually, they use this, this formula for the area of a triangle. Both are for the area of a triangle. In here, you just have multiplication of B times 2H. That is just, you put the, the coefficient first, then the variable, you just put them in alphabetical order, which is 2BH, so it's not letter E either. Number 39, which of the following numbers is between 2,329,500 and 2,598,100? What I recommend is that you leave a space in here, you put the number 2,598,100, and then this number, the one that, that is between has to be greater than this, but smaller than this. And what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be comparing each one to both of them. If it's smaller, 
then it's not between the two of them. Or if it's bigger than this one, it's not between the two of them. It has to be bigger than this, but smaller, okay? So let's start with the twos. If you notice, all of them have two million. So we're not even gonna consider that. The next one is a two. It's smaller than this one, so automatically just right there, this is smaller, it's not in between this two. Number B, letter B, you have a two, you have a three, but then you have a zero in here. Zero is smaller than two, so it will be up here smaller, okay? So it's not letter B. Two, three, two, but then it's a seven. Is the, um, the seven goes before the nine, so it's smaller, not letter C either. The next one is two, three, two, nine, but then we compare this one, and three is smaller than five. It goes up here, so it's not D either. The last one is two, five, it's bigger than this one. Now let's compare it to this one. Two, five, eight. Eight is smaller than the nine. So we can now say that it is that one. So two, five, eight, nine. Then these don't matter because as long as, as this one right here compares, you can see 23 or 232, just in the first three numbers, 232, 258, and 259, then it's right in the middle. Number 40, if you if the value of x is between 0 0.0051 and 0 0.038, which of the following could be x? So again, we're gonna have something where you're comparing where you're putting a number, where you're putting a number between 0 0.0051 and 0 0.038. Notice how in here it doesn't have a number and some people might get confused by that. So you might wanna put a zero as a placeholder in there. But let's start comparing. Remember that it has to be bigger than this, but smaller than this one. So it's point zero zero four four is smaller it goes up here not in the middle so not letter a point zero two six well actually it's bigger than the two is bigger than this one now let's compare it to this one point zero two it's smaller than this one so that one qualifies point zero two Six, one. Remember that this we don't once we get something that it's in order, zero, two, three, it's in order, we don't look at the rest to compare it. Okay? It's just one by one. And making sure that the decimals are aligned. So let's do the other one so that you can see. And I I guess I shouldn't have written it so that we don't get confused. Let me see. Point zero four. It's bigger than that one, so it's yay. But let's look at this one. Point zero 0.04, it's also bigger than this one. It has to be bigger than that one, but smaller than this one, so no. Let's cover it. <laughs> Point zero 0.05, let's compare it to this one already, which is down below, it's point zero 0.05. If it's bigger than this one, so that one work, wouldn't work either. And then the last one, 0 0.06 is bigger than that one as well. So that's why those two do not work. They're not in the middle. Here is number 41. It says, AB drives 18 miles round trip between home and work each day. Okay, round trip means from work to the, I mean, from home to work and from work to home. So 18 round trip. If her daily round trip is rounded to the nearest five miles, which of the following is the best estimate of the total number of miles driven in five days? So now in here, we have to be very careful because it says 
if her daily round trip is rounded. Okay, sometimes we want to do the multiplication five times 18 and then round the total, but in here it says to round the daily trip. If the daily trip is 18, uh, is it closer to 15 or 20? It's closer to 20. So that's what we're going to multiply by the five days, right? The five days. And so five times 20, five times zero is zero, five times two is 10, which is 100 miles. Okay, okay, number 42. Carrie ran the same distance in four different races. Her times were 18.04 seconds, 21.39 seconds, 12.99 seconds, and 14.14 seconds. If the individual times are rounded, again, if the individual times are rounded to the nearest one tenth of a second. What is the estimate of Carrie's total time for all four races? So before we even add the four, the four times, we have to round each one. To what place? To the tenths. One tenth is the same as tenths. So now let me write in here because maybe they might change it to hundredths or something else. After the decimal point, the first one, the first place is called tenths. The second decimal place is hundredths. And after the decimal point is with th, before the decimal point you have ones, tens, hundredths, no th, no th, okay? Hundredths, thousandths, Ten thousandths, okay, um, hundred thousandths, and so on, okay? So now they're just saying round to the first number. To round, you always will need the place, the number on the place value that they want us to round, and then we're going to look at the second one or the one next to it, to the, to your right, so that if this is one, two, three, or four, these will stay the same. Okay, the number that we need to round stays the same. But if this is a five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, and actually this includes zero. <laughs> um, if it's five to nine, then you add one to the, the one that we're rounding, okay? So let's see, with that information, we're gonna round 18.04, the one that we're gonna round is a zero. Since the four is in this group, it stays the same. So zero stays the same. For the next one, you have 21.39. The one that we're going to round is a three. Since the next number is, since the next number is a nine, this is gonna round up. You add one, so it's gonna be 21.39. Four. The next one says 12.99. So in this one, this is this is very tricky. Whenever the number that you're rounding is a nine, that's gonna impact the next one to the left. Why? Because look, this is five or more. That means this is one more. If it's a nine, it becomes a 10, so that becomes a zero, and the one of the 10 goes with the 12, so that's gonna be 13.0. 14.4. The one that we're going to round is the one. Since this is four or less, it stays the same, right? The one that we're rounding, so it's 14.1. Now that we rounded, we're, um, we're going to add four plus one is five. Eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Carry one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. This is 66.5 seconds, which is letter B. If this video helped you, um, please give it a like. I'm gonna be uploading new videos, the other set for this one, and at the end, you will see also the playlist right here, the next video around here, and don't forget to subscribe.